My name is Johnny and I'm going to represent and walk you through Motor Yacht Lady Bahi here in San Diego, California. We'll start here on the uh, main deck aft. We've got an enclosed climate controlled guest area. We've got audio and visual. It's a great spot for uh, hosting and a bar, TVs. Moving forward, you've got the galley. This galley works uh, with the crew and the guest space. Um, all top of the line appliances. It's a real centrally located area for, again, very good for hosting. Moving into the main salon, midships here. Um, it's partitioned midway through and you've got really great hosting capabilities here as well. Adjacent to it on the starboard side, you've got the main deck day head. From the main deck, going down the stairwell here, it's going to take you into the guest corridor where you've got four cabins. One master all the way aft on the center line. This is in a beam, full beam width master cabin with his and her bathrooms. Again, all the amenities of a, of a yacht of this size are uh, expected and on board. We've got two guest cabins as we move further forward. Two guest cabins that are matching uh, all king size mattresses with ensuite heads. Lady Body, he has the ability to sleep eight guests very comfortably. And port forward, we've got the VIP cabin, which actually takes up more square footage than that of the master. Big beam width head shower. Very accommodating for any guest. Moving up to main deck and beyond, up into the Sky Lounge on the same stairwell. We've got the Sky Lounge here, which is the main space for guest entertainment. We've got a full bar set up here available. We've got TV systems and entertainment throughout. As we move further aft on the uh, sun deck aft, this is the main, main guest area for when we're out at anchor. This area is protected by the Sky Lounge, which gives us a lot of protection from the wind. It's unusually quiet. We've got an awning cover right here that can block out a lot of the unwanted UV. We've got a full barbecue system right here, propane powered, and settees here to accommodate dinner parties or canapé events. Moving forward to the boat deck midships, got quite a bit of real estate up here. Currently holding a 24 foot brig tender with 150 horsepower Honda outboard and a 26 foot 2008 Hacker Craft with the 300 series block engine. Forward midships, you've got the stack which doubles with antennas for communications devices on the interior but it also has a 5,000 pound knuckle crane from Nautical Structures, which allows us the ability to lift vessels of this size. Either side, you've got drive stations on your outermost beam, both starboard and port side. This allows the operator to have a great line of sight down the aft for any type of berthing and docking situations. Up forward at the base of the foremast, you've got another guest area space where lounging and 
composting can occur. This spot is out of the limelight of a lot of other places and can give privacy. Beyond the bridge into the foredeck, got the bowsprit forward with a very accessible bosun's locker and forecastle. We've got Maxwell anchor windlasses and chains. Further aft, in between the bridge and the foredeck, you've got the Portuguese bridge and the Portuguese deck, where quite often we'll host guests in intimate settings for sunset, idle speed cruising. It's very quite nice. Moving inside, you've got the bridge. The bridge is maintained to mimic the era of the modern classic. Aesthetically, no expenses have been spared. Fine woodwork, leather work, and monitoring system, along with and shrouded with all of the technologies that any boat of this size would, would have. Underneath the bridge, and on a switchback staircase going down forward into the cruise quarters. Lady Bahi sleeps five comfortably. Identical cabins for the support crew on port and starboard up on the foredeck. Master cabin, 